Hey, how's it going guys? I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but it has just been so cold in Minnesota. I can't be working on the car outside. Um, we got really nice weather this week, so I'm trying to get some installs in and show you guys. So today we're going to be installing some lower control arm skid plates from Running for Tacos on the 5th Gen 4Runner. So let's get to it. So here we have the skid plate guys. You're gonna get a set of these or a pair of these from Running for Tacos. The logo will be facing out. Um, I got the color matched to the TRD Pro skid plate. Good thing about these skid plates are that they will fit your TRD Pro um, skid plates. A lot of the ones from, you know, like Rego and, and um, CBI and all that's, all those other brands, they don't fit the TRD Pro skid plate. So this one is really convenient because it fits the TRD Pro skid plate. What you're gonna get in the bag is a set of screws and washers and uh, nylon locking nuts. I've gone ahead and organized them in a, in a way where it'll show you the difference, right? So you're gonna get one skinny one and you're gonna get a bigger medium sized uh, one and then a longer one, all right so these are all nylon locking nuts and they're also carriage bolts so what you're gonna do is if you look here on the uh, skid plate you're gonna see these two rectangles as well as an L-shaped one this sh skinny small one is gonna go out here and the shorter bigger one is gonna go over here for this one and then this longest one is gonna go into the L-shaped bracket right over here so the order of how these will be installed is the bolt goes in, followed. So the order of how the bolts will be installed is the bolt goes in, followed by the spacer, and then it goes into the skip plate. The washer will come right on top of the skip plate, followed by the uh, nylon locking nut. So that will be the same for two of these. You'll see that this one does not have a spacer. It has a washer though. So the washer will, this small washer will actually go outside of the skid plate. So it'll go like this, bolt will go into the skid plate, followed by the big washer and the nylon locking nut. So once again, this one goes out here, smaller square over here, medium big one goes out here, and longer big one goes right over here in the L-shaped bracket. Logo should always be facing outwards. Also, you'll need a 15 millimeter socket as well as an 12. And then if you have an 11 or a 12 inch open end one, this one will be super helpful because you do need to hold on to this smaller bolt here when you're installing it, as well as a socket wrench. That's all you need. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we are gonna be installing the driver's side first. I've kind of mocked it up on the way it's supposed to go and I've also gotten the bolts ready. So let's go ahead and get started. Just wanna make a note that some of your lower control arm skid plates may have a plastic cover for these little holes here. Um, mine don't, but if you do, then just go ahead and grab like a little flathead and pry them out. But we'll be using these three holes. Uh, one here, two, and three right there. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and do this install now. Once again, it goes bolt in through the skid plate. Then we're gonna put the spacer on here. This should go right into this hole right here. The first hole, you'll see it comes out in the back over here. Then we're gonna put the washer on. Then we're gonna put the nylon locking nut. Easiest way I've seen people do this is they just hand tighten this, kind of holding it in place, and then they get the other two installed on there. So that's the first one already done. We're gonna get, the, we're gonna get this one over here done as well. Hand tight for both of them. We're gonna do this bottom one. All right guys, so we're gonna install the last bolt. You're gonna need the skinny one. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put small washer on then we're going to go into this bottom hole right here this one right here
right out right here. Big washer and the nylon locking nut. That's it. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm going to use an 11 millimeter socket you're gonna use your little wrench you're gonna hold the washer up here and then just tighten this bottom one it should be there you go and you just wanna snug it up so here's the before no skin plate and here's the after looks super nice so you'll see once again, three bolts, that's one, two, and then one in the back there. So pretty easy, 15 minutes or so. Okay guys, so that wraps up the install. Uh, pretty easy, about 15 minutes or so. Um, hopefully with the warm weather coming up here in Minnesota, I'll be able to do more installs and make some more videos for you guys. So thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.